Welcome to Vaziani Military Base. We'll be performing the a cold start, switch. which means starting from an unpowered aircraft, and then tack with the electrical power engaged, you can see that the HUD comes to life, as well as many instruments and cockpit lights. Now that you have power, aircraft turn off lights, external lights. This will warn the ground crew that you have both taxi and landing lights on the nose gear. Taxi stroke. lights. These can be used when the gear is down. Press the right all bell will switch your gear light between the off, taxi, and taxi landing lights. Lights. Tax since it's dark out, turn on your interior cockpit lights by pressing the cockpit button. lights. Next, we'll request startup clearance from the Airbase ATC Toms. air traffic control. One, press F5 the communications room. F1 5 to select ATC. F1. Press F1 to select your current F1. Four. Press F3 to F3. Press Vazion F3 to start up. Press backslash to close the F3. communication menu and press the space button. Into the yield. One, one. Request startup. Make sure the throttle is at idle. Press right shift turn to start both in F12. Engine start. As the engine start, you can see the engine related dials on the right side of the instrument panel come to life. Each engine startup is finished, and next, look down at your fuel quantity indicator on the lower right side of the main instrument panel. Check that it's functioning properly by turning the dial to IT by holding left alt left control D. IT stands for built-in test. Pointer and top counters should both indicate 6,000 pounds, and the left and right counters should both indicate 600 pounds. Look at the highlighted lights on the bottom left of the instrument panel. The green lights reading left, yeah. left and right are indicating where you're Next, look at the highlighted PO trim button and light on the left console. Pressing this button resets pitch roll and yaw trim with a standard takeoff setting. Hold left alt T until the light lights up. The red light on the top right of the instrument panel indicates that the canopy is currently unlocked. You have to make sure closed. the light is off before you take off. But starting from a cold start, you will need to set your navigation mode to follow waypoints. Nav mode. Do this by pressing 1. one. Next, we'll request taxi clearance from ATC. Comms. Pay attention to the response because it will tell F1. you which one way to taxi to. Press backslash F1. to open the communications menu. You should already be F1. in the Vaziani ATC menu. Press F1 to request taxi to runway. Once you have taxi clearance, press the space bar to continue. ATC told you to take off on runway 13, which means the runway on a heading of 130 degrees. The highlighted instrument is the horizontal situation indicator, or HSI, which shows a top-down view of your... To steer the Eagle, we'll use nose gear steering. Your ground speed is displayed in the bottom left... To get rolling, slowly increase the throttles by moving your throttle controller forward or pressing numpad plus until you have forward movement but do not exceed 75% RPM. Pull your throttle controller back or press numpad minus to decrease your throttle if necessary. Turn right and taxi to the end of the ramp, being careful to avoid other aircraft. If you get going too fast, engage your wheel, taxi to the end of the ramp, and then turn left on the taxiway to the runway, but stop right before the end of the taxiway. Use your brakes, W, if you're going too fast. Come to a halt here, right before the runway. Notice the sign to the right was 13 on it. That means you've arrived Homs. at runway 13 as intended. You will now need to request takeoff from ATC. F1. If the runway is clear, ATC will clear you for takeoff F1. and also turn on the runway lights for you. F1. Press backslash to bring up the communications F1. menu again and press F1 to request, request takeoff. takeoff. Press the spacebar when you've received clearance. The Aussie on the ATC has told you climb 300, which means after takeoff you should continue straight on the runway's heading until you reach an elevation of 300 meters or 1,000 feet. Continue your taxi now. When you get to the runway, align the aircraft down the center line and come to a halt on the 13 runway heading marker. Hold the wheel brakes, W, and slowly advance your engines to 80% RPM. Once your engines are at 80%, release the brakes and push the throttles to mill, not afterburner. As you roll down the runway, keep a line down the middle with very small rudder inputs. When you hit 120 knots, move the stick to one half aft stick. Once the nose comes up, stabilize at 10 degrees pitch attitude using the pitch ladder on the HUD as a reference.
Check that your vertical velocity indicator shows a positive rate of climb and gear raise up. the landing gear by pressing G. Then retract Flaps the flaps up. by pressing F. Maintain a pitch attitude of 10 degrees by keeping the aircraft symbol, the W, on the HUD on the 10 degree pitch ladder. If you set takeoff trim earlier, the plane will want to pull out by itself. Apply nose down trim by pressing right control semicolon until your pitch is steady with your hand off the stick. When you reach 350 knots, adjust your climb angle so your speed remains at 350 knots. At lower altitudes, you have your best climb rate at this speed. Nicely done. You can perform takeoffs either at nil or max after burner throttle, depending on the runway length and how much of a hurry you're in. This concludes this lesson. You can end the lesson now by pressing escape.